ito pong matatag curriculum. So this is the new direction of the Department of Education towards improving the quality of basic education in the country. everyone, welcome back to Surfax Learning Channel. This video ay pag-usapan po natin itong DEPED Memorandum Number 54 Series of 2023, the pilot implementation of the Matatag Curriculum. So, ano nga ba itong Matatag Curriculum? So, ang Matatag Curriculum refers to a robust educational framework developed by the Department of Education aims to enhance quality of education by focusing on various components such as curriculum design, teachers' training, and educational practice. So, ano yung apat na component nitong matatag curriculum? Apat na component nitong matatag curriculum or the DepEd's matatag agenda at critical components. The first is making the curriculum relevant to produce competent and job-ready active and responsible citizen that is for ma data for this ha ma is making the curriculum relevant to produce com competent and job ready active and responsible citizens taking steps to accelerate the delivery of basic education facilities and services so that is the first T. Ta, taking steps to accelerate the delivery, accelerate the delivery of basic education facilities and services. The another key is taking good care of the learners by promoting learners' well-being. And then lastly, inclusive education. So, paano nga ba nagumpisa itong matatag curriculum? So, the matatag curriculum started 20... 23, under the leadership of the Vice President and Education Secretary, Sara Duterte, mark the Matatag Education Journey. The branding Matatag was officially launched in January 2023 when the Vice President, the same time, the Secretary, delivered the first basic education report her first basic education report as the Fed secretary for the current uh, administration she said that this agenda the matatag agenda aimed to set new direction for the department of education and stakeholders in resolving some challenges the department and the Matatag Agenda is the new battle cry for the basic education sector. Matatag, bansang makabata at batang makabansa. So that is the battle cry for this Matatag Agenda. So resounding the battle cry, ulitin ko po ulit ito, yung ibig sumbihin kasi ito ng Matatag. Making the curriculum relevant to produce competent and job-ready, active and responsible citizen. For ma, taking steps to accelerate delivery of basic education facilities and services, taking good care for the learners by promoting learners' well-being, and then lastly, inclusive education. So ito pong matatag curriculum launched by January at ang first implementation nito uh, as per DepEd Memorandum Number 54 Series of 2023, sabi po dito sa DepEd na Memorandum na ito, pilot implementation of the Matatag Curriculum. So this is the new direction of the Department of Education towards improving the quality of basic education in the country. So to help attain the commitment articulated in the Matatag Agenda, so the de the Department of Education adopted DepEd Order Number 13, Series of 2023, Adoption of the National Learning Recovery Program or NLRP. 
So in LRP, it's Deped Order Number 13, 2023. It, it includes the implementation of the revised curriculum, otherwise known as the Matatag Curriculum. So ano nga ba itong Matatag Curriculum? The Matatag Curriculum has the following features. The congested curriculum, focus on foundational skills, and balance cognitive demands, clear articulation of 21st century skills, reduce learning areas, intensified values education, and peace education, and on a par with international standards. And the Matatag curriculum shall be implemented in phases. Uh, magsisimula po sa kindergarten, grade 1, grade 4, and grade 7. Starting this school year. So, hindi na ba yung memorandum na to? Pilot implementation last September 8. Pero ang talagang implementation per phase pilot per phase ay itong school year 2024 and 2025. And then, sa susunod na school year, 2025-2026, ang matatag curriculum ay nasa grade, meron ng grade 2. Pero ang going na rin ulit sa kindergarten and grade 1. So, yung grade 1 last Itong school year, magre-grade 2 na. Yung grade 4, magre-grade 5. Yung grade 7, magre-grade 8 na. Ang dun sa umabot sila ng grade 10. However, the senior high school curriculum is still currently undergoing review. And probably, baka sa susunod na school year, maumpisa na rin yung pilot implementation ng senior high school. Pilot implementation objective. Ano yung main objective nitong pilot implementation? The main objective of the pilot implementation is to give valuable insights that will inform the implementation of the Matatag curriculum on a larger scale. Specifically, the pilot implementation shall determine the support needed by teachers and school leaders effectively implement the Matatag curriculum and identify the challenges, issues, gaps na pwede mag-arise para ma-address ng maayos. Okay? Mga schools na pinili for the pilot implementation, itong Matatag curriculum will be ay na pilot sa mga sumusunod na region. Region 1, 2, 7, and 12. And the Caldera Administrative Region (CAR) and the Caraga Region, and the National Capital Region. So, ito mga na banggit na regions: Region One, Region Two, Seven, Twelve, Caldera, CAR, NCR. Dito palang merong implementation. Mga na pili schools ensures the diverse representation of the public elementary and secondary schools in NCR, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Categorizing them by enrollment size include as a small, medium, or large school. Implementation of the capacity building, teachers, school, school head, department heads, public school district supervisor, and kailang implement itong matatag curriculum no, itong school year 2024-2025. At uh, it is according to DepEd Memorandum Number 54 Series of 2023 na ipinaba noong September 8, 2023. And ano nga ulit yung kanyang battle cry? Matatag, bansang makabata, batang makabansa. And the critical components of Matatag curriculum ma, is making the curriculum relevant to produce compo competent, job-ready, active, and responsible citizens. It's the first critical, com uh, critical component. The first uh, is 
taking steps to accelerate the delivery of basic education facility services. Delivery. Uh, yung first emphasis, making curriculum relevant. Kaya nga congest yung congestion ay eh, ayos. And the third is taking good care of the learners by promoting learners being. And lastly, inclusive. So yun lang, yun lang po yung ating short discussion. Discussion ba yun or reading lang? It's either about the matatag curriculum. At kung bago ka sa channel ni Sir Fox, pwede mo pong i-click yung subscription button uh, to show legal support for this channel. Thank you for watching. Mabilang.